Halo effect. The third sun's hazed edge touched a jagged horizon. Dusk was green as usual, deepening into purple as the glowing orb was reduced to a dull red cap. My filter mask, a full face affair, was slipping, lubricated by sweat. If I smiled or grimaced, tiny gaps appeared between skin and seal, and the stench of atmosphere seeped in. Brief leaks were fine. Our lungs could resist the acidification. I was reminded how rotten this outworld was. Corpses lay all around, adding to the problem. They littered the route to the Mother Hulk, my ultimate destination. I felt good. The injury I'd sustained to my leg was healing. My ration pack was three quarters full. Today was as good a day as any to make the charge. The wound itched. It was the closest I'd come to bowing out. The gentle, incessant curve of the targeted discharge, screaming out of the shadow, was burned into my memory. It clipped my thigh and turned me through the air. Face down, with lips buried in the bitter dust, I heard the shooter whoop as he ran away. A rock runt. He thought I was dead. Few survived such a contact, but my suit had absorbed much of the energy. No, I was very much alive. I had time for some sport. The morning passed uneventfully. A few long-range skirmishes only. Then I detected human movement 50 metres ahead. My quarry. Thick red smoke covered the ground around him. The result of his last discharge. A dead soldier's toe caps were just visible above the low, the low cloud. The rock runt, my enemy, was kneeling over him and stealing his kit. Fair play, I often did the same. I wormed my way across the dirt, hidden in the cloud. My heads-up display confirmed that the runt was stationary, probably playing with his new toys or working out how to stash and carry them. Perhaps his own heads-up display was switched off or disabled. He should have sensed my approach. Through a gap in the cloud, I glimpsed the dead man's entire length. Comrade, judging by the insignia on his arm. The runt's discharge had blown a hole clean through the lower chest. I did not grieve. This was no place for loyalty. The cloud thinned in the breeze. I rose up, a paragon of stealth. But the plates on my Kevlar suit creaked and the runt turned. With unexpected but practiced dexterity, he unclipped a short-range unidirectional grenade and pressed it against my stomach. Christ. I was too close to point my piece, and the knife, my first and oldest possession, was trapped under the sticky grenade. I had no choice. I had to act. So, I encircled the runt's narrow neck with a gloved hand and squeezed until the bones began to pop. His hand fell from the charge switch and he dropped to the ground. I knelt, knelt over him in turn and took as much kit as I could carry. As I ran for the protection of the low mountain two clicks away, I heard sobs and cries. <clears throat> Why? Why? You promised! You promised! Night had fallen. The words continued to bounce across the sheer sides of the crevice in which I wedged myself. Figures scuffled across the battleground below, migrating ants, drawn to the mother hulk, hungry for glory. A small group paused by the dead rock runt, but there was nothing portable on him left to scavenge. Then, without a dawn warning, night lifted. The filter mask was ripped off my face. My wife stood before me, angrily gesticulating at Thomas, our son. He was curled on the ground, shaking his head, his virtual mask array. I threw off my sensing gloves and picked him up. Why? You promised! We were on the same team! He cried. I didn't realise. I thought you were a rock run. I had to. He ran off to his room, still sobbing. At tea time, he was still red-eyed and silent. I was surprised. I thought a nine-year-old boy would have shrugged it off by now. Lucy eyed me coldly during the meal. She wasn't happy that we played together anyway, and pointed to the 15 rated on the package whenever she ventured up into the games room. But all of Tom's friends were playing. I dispatched a few of them. And he had begged for me to buy it. At bedtime, Tom poked his head above the duvet and said, Actually, I don't mind if you kill me, Dad. If you take my refills, you can fight your way into the Mother Hulk and steal the central manipulator. 
I've done my league better than me. That night, I dreamt about the battle scene. It was more real than virtual. The rock runt turned around, removed his mask, sucked the poisonous air, and looked up imploringly. His lips were blue, and there were finger-shaped bruises on the smooth of his neck. I woke up crying. It was 4 a.m. I walked into the games room and destroyed the console. Tommy never asked me why.